Hi guys, this is Rebecca Abraxas. Today I want to talk about excuses. I am stopping the default mode I've been on with excuse making. And what does this have to do with fully expressing ourselves and getting unstuck? Well, what I've come to know is that when we are living in excuses, we are living from past conclusions and belief systems. And it's kind of like a default mode if you will. And I hate default modes. It's not very creative. So what would it take to get off the default mode of our life and really start being aware of how to really create it dynamically? And one of those ways is to really let go of excuses. See, this culture is really into conclusions and answers. And that solidifies something that closes the box on possibility and says, this is, has to be so. But in those conclusions, it feeds excuses. So, for example, um, in my coaching experience with people, a lot of people, their voices are shut down because a choir teacher or a parent has told them they cannot sing or that they are really off. And this happened at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. And they live on that default. So when I say, hey, let's sing or let's tone together, they say, oh, no. And I, you know, someone told me I can't sing. And I'm like, when was that? Oh, I was really little. And it's curious to me. That, is, that would be a default mode, okay? It's an excuse from a con past conclusion. And it is creating your not creating anything different in your life around the voice and self-expression now I've been doing this in my family life with raising my kids forever here um, not with voice but with with food and sleep and productivity and business I've been making conclusions about if I'm rested or not or if I'm why I'm crabby or why I'm this or why I'm that and I make a, an excuse and it solidifies my reality and then I don't create that day so I am on a mission to let go of all of my excuses. Do you want to come along? <laughs> no, this is what I'm doing. Um, it takes a moment to pause when you, because it's default mode. It's like, it's just autopilot. We, we don't even realize sometimes we're doing it. So it takes a moment of awareness to pause and be like, oh, I'm doing it again. I'm making that excuse. And it, that pause helps you come back to the present moment not the past belief systems, not the past conclusions, not the past things that people said about you or judged about you. You you're get to decide right now, this moment, what something is, is for you. So say if I didn't get sleep one night, in the past I would get up and say, hmm, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so tired. I'm so tired today. I'm going to get nothing done. That excuse and that, that, that conclusion is not going to help my day. So now I get up and be like, oh, what would it feel, what would it be like to, to be completely rested today? Um, my life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. What's possible today? And I start there. And I kind of input those things instead of excuses. So give it a try and see if you can shift from excuses into possibility. And when, we, when we're in excuse mode and conclusion mode, we are usually not questioning what else is possible. So that's another question you can say is like, okay, I'm going to pause here, let go of my excuses, what else is possible here? This works really well when you feel stuck or in a plateau or inhibited or shy with moving forth with using your voice, whether in a video blog or singing or having a voice in your family. What if you have to sit down and really have a important talk with your family members? You know, like your voice is important. So I hope this was helpful. Join me on my mission to let go of excuses in life and, and really start creating forward. And I wish you all the best. And if you would like more tips on expressing your brilliant self, please subscribe to this channel. I get out videos every Thursday. I mean, today's Friday, so I just um, ran out of time yesterday. But all the best. Have a great weekend.